Good morning. I'm here in Gasworks Park in Seattle overlooking beautiful Seattle at a sunrise this time instead of sunset so I think I'll have enough sunlight and I want to talk to you about uh, cybersecurity and crime. So let's dive right in and we'll start with this idea of cybersecurity. Now I kind of chose the word the term cybersecurity because I think it's the most descriptive but um, actually the term of art especially at the University of Washington is information assurance but information assurance IA kind of conflicts with the IA that we studied earlier in the class so I'm going to stick to cybersecurity it's also computer security or hacking sometimes it's called those are all the all the words but let's focus in on um, on what exactly it means cybersecurity and what the what exactly the nature of cybersecurity is so that's where we're going to start um, I'll give you what's called the CIA model and uh, looking at the diagram here, it sort of looks like something uh, a CIA type organization would come up with. In the middle is information. And notice, in the middle is information. That's what cybersecurity is all about. It's about protecting or assuring information. So this is smack dab in the middle of our area of concern of information. So exactly what about information needs to be protected or needs to be safeguarded? Well, the confidentiality of the information, right? That's obvious. Um, information that's meant to stay private should stay private. That's the idea. Um, not, but not only the confidentiality, not only like not letting it get, in into, get into the hands of um, the people who might uh, use it for ill purposes, but also the availability of the information. So it doesn't do to have information confidential if even the people who need to get at it can't get at it. So an example of making it unavailable is what we'll see later, something called a denial of service attack, and in a denial of service attack, it's not that the information is compromised, it's that the access to the information is compromised. A, a website is, is inundated so much with so many requests that people who have a legitimate, con, legitimate need to get the information from that website are unable to do so. Okay, so it's the confidentiality that's obvious, it's also the availability. And then finally, the integrity. Um, a lot of times what happens in, a, in what we'll later call an attack is that the information is um, is changed or modified or defaced in some way? So we'll see examples, especially when we look later at the um, at the uh, uh, the at, at the anonymous movement. That a lot of times what they do is they don't compromise the availability of information. They don't compromise the uh, confidentiality of information because they haven't gotten any confidential information. All they do is like deface the information. So they they deal with the integrity of the information and oftentimes we'll see also later on how someone can um, can delete information. They're not getting the information but, they, but they're compromising the information. Okay, so that's the idea. It's protecting, basically protecting information, protecting its confidentiality, its accessibility, and its integrity.